Parkersville firefighters spent two December days fighting fires that seriously damaged homes and of course leaving many families scrambling for shelter over the holidays. Both fires were caused by space heaters. Now, fire departments say space heaters like these can cause about 80% of all deadly house fires. Fox 59's Hannah Adamson talked to one official to see how to keep warm and keep safe in the cold winter months. In the past two weeks, the Bargersville Community Fire Department responded to two space heater fires. Both caused significant damage and displaced two families right before Christmas. Now we watched a few demonstrations in a controlled environment here at the fire station to see just how quickly things can go wrong. In some cases, a few minutes and in others, a few seconds. Bargersville Deputy Fire Chief Michael Pruitt says if you have an old space heater that lacks safety features, get rid of it. If you plan on using a space heater this winter, make sure you carefully read the instructions. Plug the heater directly into the wall and place it on a flat surface and never leave one running unattended or while you're sleeping. Pruitt says you should also invest in smoke alarms for every sleeping area on every floor of your home. In addition to flames, space heaters can release toxic fumes into the air if they catch fire. When you go to bed at night, people love to leave them on to keep everything warm. But again, if you don't have that working smoke alarm and something does happen, you're probably not going to wake up. Deputy Chief Pruitt says if you're considering purchasing a space heater, stay away from ones that burn fuels like kerosene. Instead, look for ones like this, an infrared space heater with a very small amount of exposed surface area and a temperature control feature. Reporting in Bargersville, I'm Hannah Adamson.